Hi guys, I'm a forester here with another knife myth to be debunked. Try saying that three times real fast. Knife myth, knife myth, knife myth. I think I'm ready. Knife myth number one was the fallacy that tip-up carry is always superior to tip-down carry. I'll put a link to that video below. But knife myth number two is that deep carry pocket clips are superior to regular pocket clips. Now, right off the bat, I want to stress that I'm only addressing my style of carry, which is back right pocket carry. If you carry in your front pocket, then this may not apply to you. My impression is that deep carry pocket clips are being touted by YouTubers as superior mainly for concealment of tactical knives. Here's one of the deepest carry knives that I own. Does anybody recognize it as a knife? If in doubt, that ZT should give it away to most people. But what model ZT is it? Comment below what you think it is. My point is that this deep carry clip isn't going to disguise this knife much at all. I doubt anybody's going to think it's a pen. Okay, now let's look at my best example of a tactical knife. And that would be my Emerson Gentleman Jim. But when I put it in the pocket, what do you know? There's a full inch of knife sticking out of the pocket. Now why would Ernie Emerson, who's Mr. Tactical, leave an inch of knife sticking out? Well, I think to better deploy the knife. But along with the Emerson, let's look at three other tactical knives. These are my best examples. And this is the Spyderco Police. Okay, this is the Hinderer XM24. And last, here's the Almar Eagle Ultralight. All right, four birds on a wire, but all have something in common. They all leave an inch of knife sticking out of the pocket. So this makes me wonder if it really is the trendy thing to put deep carry pocket clips on tactical knives. These manufacturers don't think so. Or is it just the trendy thing for YouTubers to talk about deep carry pocket clips? Okay, let's take a different approach. Now let's take another approach and compare these two knives, the Hinderer XM24 and the ZT561. These are the same two knives that I compared in knife myth number one for tip up versus tip down carry, but they also differ in pocket clip design. The Hinder has a regular style pocket clip and the ZT561 has a deep carry pocket clip. There's probably only a quarter of an inch that sticks out above the pocket. And just for emphasis, let me line these up based on where the pants line would be right there so that you can compare that way. If you watched my demonstration of deploying each of these knives, there was no difference in deployment speed. It surprised me a little because I would guess that the deep carry ZT would be harder to get out of the pocket, but at least I can say that the deep carry pocket clip wasn't superior. Well, what's my knife with the deepest carry pocket clip? It's my Boker Elegance. Actually, it attaches to the very top of the frame there, and only the top of the clip and two screw heads would be visible. But the clip was so weak on this knife that it broke off twice and I've decided not to replace it. So the question, are deep carry clips superior to regular clip designs or are they just cool to talk about? Well, I've given you my two cents on the subject. Comment below with your thoughts. Y'all take care.